Hello, hello everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. I did forget to do grinding on the vicious missions. Yeah, brain. We also need to... I think we might do the EX mission after we do, like, uh, the various like, uh, activations and a few side missions, mostly because it has to have popped up for a reason. So while I do believe there will probably be some people be like, no, you should wait and do the DLC missions till after you beat the main game. At the same time, the developers spawned in the mission at a specific point for a specific reason, so we can at least do the first one and see what it's like. From YouTube chat, hello, hello, hello. We're just beginning, might as well, well, I guess first things first, check out, like, especially this entire batch of, like, Riju ones that popped up. Again, I must, like, impress that I really do appreciate the little blurbs of, like, every single upgrade has a mini little story to it. It's just like two paragraphs. The inciting thing of like, ah, to do this, you must this. And then sometimes the result isn't exactly like makes sense. But uh, it's just like, it's still a nice little thing that fleshes out the world. And I appreciate that. I really, really do. Fearing that the Calamity may have destroyed one of the heroine statues, a traveler announces she will ascend to the Grudo Highlands to see for herself. She may need something to keep her warm. Ah, I'm gonna go find the third, or not the third, I think the eighth heroine. The traveler, previously unaware of the Grudo Highlands' frigid temperatures, was quite grateful for the materials you provided. She set out on her search for the eighth heroine statue. I also appreciate how, like, these are kind of, some of these things are things that Link did. Like, oh, he went and found the eighth heroine. But here, since, like, we're busy with the calamity, other people are doing things. It's just neat. Also, I just realized I don't think I ever did any of Riju's, like, special interaction thing. Don't think I ever did. Let's quickly do Teba's training. Because I don't think we got a chance to use him. No, because uh, in the last story mission we did, it was saving Urbosa and Rivali. And we saved Urbosa first, and we got to play as Riju. But Teba, like, uh, got to hang out on Vameto for the after save everyone. Use Vameto to annihilate people thing instead. Also, the fact that Windblight Ganon was capable of surviving... Blasts from the Divine Beast. <laughs> it definitely goes to show that that thing was raring to kill the bird boy. Oh, and I just realized now there's Calamity Ganon swirling around Hyrule Castle. I, I do like how the loading screen has evolved. I like it. Of course, we're going to wait to see... Everybody come across. I do kind of like that Daruk and Mifa are missing because they have been kidnapped. A little odd that Riju and Teba are behind Hestu, but I guess he has seniority. Let's see. Ooh. Time to clean up this mess. Ooh. So I can... All right. Actually, I should take a look, just in case. So yeah, he does not fly. That's kind of interesting. Instead, he has a singular strong attack and then a one, two, three. I want to see. Oh. <laughs> I can kind of just drive by the enemies. But let's see. That's pretty good, like, wave. Oh, and then he goes up into the air. Oh, <laughs> go turret mode. I just can go forever. 
I am Teba, Rito Warrior, Protector of the Skies. I've dedicated myself to the art of the arrow. So, like, it seems each of his... And I wonder... Very interesting. I find this very unique. <laughs> like this? Just... <laughs> I like this. This feels good. He plays so differently from Rivali. No idea what he's saying at the end of each time. This is very unique. He kind of also has a targeted sniper move. No idea what even this does. It's just very neat. I appreciate... I just... I appreciate how different they made each of the characters feel. Oh, he just <laughs> surrounded himself. <laughs> he just outright says die. Carpet bombs the enemy. Very nice. Ah, uh, he can- he creates a fire tornado! Oh, that's cool. And from you two chat- hi! Hello, hello. I just don't th cause I- yeah. This Tebba's cool. That's cool. Very, very neat. And we got a high resell. A, a 33 damage high resell. It'd be kind of interesting. It's just like, I'm a weapon buyer. I'll buy weapons. Hands him a bow for a... Like, not even a Rito bow. A, a clothing bow. A bow tie. Kind of hilarious. We have unlocked a new type of bonus combo. Flight training at Lake Tatori. Rita warriors used to practice gliding at Lake Tatori, but recently they had to cancel these sessions due to a lack of supplies. Pitch in with some resources so they may can... For some reason that just felt like may fit there, but it isn't there. I am a fool. Pitch in with some resources so that they can resume training. You can just have all the money that I have worked up for. The Rita Warriors had enough supplies to begin training once more. Watching them dart with ease to the sky above Lake Tatori, Teba was inspired to emulate their techniques. And now we've got a four combo. Some great fairies, but that takes all my rocks. And he has specifically the falcon bow. Comes in already level one, doing a decent amount of damage, but I guess, uh, ah, we have to go all the way out to do sell. Since he has a high resell weapon. Yeah, but that's only 300 rupees. It might actually be better to use his fusion material. If I want, I can pass on the high resell to his base weapon. We shall not do that. We shall wait. Meanwhile, Riju has gotten all of the weapons, it feels like. Which is kind of funny. Hmm, Starlight Bridal versus the Gerudo Bridal. That's kind of interesting. I'm guessing that this is her starter one. Because it has the highest damage and it's auto-equipped. But interesting that we only have, like, this one, which I guess is a higher, like, type. Oh. 
want to see. It would be funny. <laughs> this one would instantly bump it up to level 5 for two, like, blah, 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 two emblems. I completely forgot their name. But at the same time, it is very expensive to remove seals, so we shall not throw frivolous seals around. Let's see. Well, I guess we could give Impa some bonus hearts. The Great Cuckoo Escape. The cuckoos are loose. A farmer in Kakariko Village is desperate to get her prize birds back. Make sure your footsteps are nice and quiet so you can snatch those feathery fugitives. New power, new hope. Somehow, the cuckoos had gotten up onto the roof. The owner was relieved to see their birds safely returned home. No need to mention the part about using cuckoos as impromptu gliders. We all do that, don't we? <laughs> In fact, I think that's like the original way of doing it way back in the day. That was the only way for Link to fly. Then up here, <laughs> two Hinoxes and a Lionel. Stronger yet, time limited. Since now it's like level 31, we shall hold off on that for a bit. From YouTube chat, so Neon, you know about the biblical tale of the first humans, Adam and Eve, and also the tale of the first children, Cain and Abel? Indeed. Although, I still like the pseudo joke of like, Cain and Abel, Cain is like, here, I bring you my fruits. And Abel is like, I bring you an animal for slaughter. So God is just like, I demand blood sacrifice. Really, all Cain was doing was sacrificing his brother to God. God should have liked it. Also, I think there's, like, a weird thing in, like, biblical things where there's, like, the wife of Cain. I believe. I forget. Her name was, like, Lilith, I think? The Bible is weird sometimes. Granted, what do you expect from a book that was voted on? But that was basically the original Bible was basically just the best fan fiction collection voted on by a bunch of old people. Revelations barely made it in. Well, let's get us a Monk Maz Koshia bonus combo, because all it requires is some murder material and uh, a decent few of these sparkly, sparkly interdimensional diamonds. It's happening again. Strands of light coalesce into words, forming a cryptic message. You who have conquered another worldly trial present proof of your triumph and a token of your dominance. You offered up the materials and the words of light changed. You have done well to overcome the trial. To mark your achievement, we bestow upon you the gift of boldness. Oh, and that leveled up Akala. Gave us a lot of big truffles. I could have used that a while back. <laughs> we won't do the big old challenge, because the big old challenge is a decent level, and I might want to use somebody else for it. We'll quickly check in on You're here. here and see. Because we need vicious, vicious, and money. Reveals vicious monster battle info. Not all that important. Improved quality. Thanks. Well, we'll we can quickly see about doing a... Like a, a vicious monster or two. Like here's the Breach of Demise. As a funny funny, let's do... Teba and Rivali. You have a lot to look forward to. Because I think that would be funny. Unleash the birds! <laughs> fly, bird people, fly. <laughs> from YouTube chat, do you also uh, know another human named Seth from the Bible? He's the third born to Adam and Eve after Cain and Abel. Don't think I've ever heard about that. <laughs> One of the lesser talked about biblical characters.
Then again, I think we already know where it's inevitably gonna be, but... Just obliterate enemies. Then again, we got like a bonus combo for Teba. Let's see. It is four. One. One, two, three. Ooh. I like that his stuff is basically just continuous. Just stop. You stuck. I just blast you with my heavy arrow over and over again. Just very satisfying. And now, set him on fire. Well done, Teba. A good reminder that I must keep pushing myself. Oh, that's kind of cute. That Rivali kind of sees Teba as a worthy, <laughs> like, or have I been saying it wrong? They say Teba. I've been putting emphasis on the wrong letters. It's not Teba, it's Teba. You dab burn the boy. Be annihilated. Take this. Annihilate them for setting him on fire. And now we'll send him, because I do believe that'll just be over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Get flurry rushed. His attack pattern is a little interesting. And now, fire tornado for you. It could have gone worse. You set him on fire. Well, actually, I think it might be in a different area today. Because only an electric wizrobe appeared. Even though it's like the past other two times we've done this specific encounter, it appeared here. Why is it that all the whiz robes that spawn close to the ground are never ones I fight as Link? Guess we can send him up there. Investigate this place and see. Doesn't seem like it's here. Check out the little side path up here. Why would you ever want to utilize the Dragon Bone Clubs as throwables? That's horrible wastefulness. So yeah, I have been saying it the wrong this entire time. Taba. Not Teba. Too easy. Must put respect upon his name. Be still. With your creepy mouth. Hey. And I guess we'll send Rivali up there. Just mowing down the enemies. I also like this music. Like, we've only come to this level a few times, and I haven't commented on the music yet. It's very nice. Huh. I wonder why he stopped his combo early there. I need to try that. So I do need to, it seems I might have to keep a rhythm. Ah, there you are. Cinder Valley up here. 
as we take on the Stone Talus. Play whack-a-mole with the birdie. It's only slightly possible that you'll hit him. God, this camera. Just go crazy. Ah. My random bullshit was countered by his random bullshit. I wonder how many times I've flurry rushed a stone talus. I don't think it's been many. Oh, he just juggled that into the air. Again, the camera's crazy. I, did I? It almost feels like I, like, kicked off the, like, stone of Talus himself for, like, the wall jump. Yeah, do strong strikes. Teba might not be the best for taking down weak points as much as others. But he's more of like a general mob dealer than like the actual... Get flurry rushed, idiot. Dang it. Just trying to time the flurry rush dodge. I failed. Got slowly. Send the talus flying. Get another thing. And now I'll blast you. You stand a chance. Oh, and I accidentally sent Teba away. many hits on him as possible. Yeah, man. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. There we go. Blast away. Try to abuse its placement like this. Done. There we go. Flurry rush. I think I was targeting the wrong people there. Arms. I shall blast you. We should probably kill you. Oh yeah. You're a tanky stone talus. And we got diamonds from it. Huzzah.
another fusion material biggie boy. So we should be able to get like two emblems onto Teba's weapon when we can. When we actually find a, a decent emblem to throw onto it. And remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Hydration important. I think that's like a high level vicious encounter. It's you! Yes. Ippin, we need one more. Thanks. Yes, quite. Because finding high quality weapons would be good. And then I guess you'll also be <laughs> level 67. Now that just feels like an insult. I guess we shall. I mean, we could do that, but. I recommend a level 5 to get the flail. I mean, it's level 5. Guess it wouldn't hurt. Let's go flail some dudes. Shouldn't take long since to level 5. Weapons copied with ZR will break after continuous use. Oh yeah, that is, it's like what he said. Robbie said. That'll be interesting. It's like nunchucks that can mimic guns. Gunchucks. Basically, you just kind of sort of randomly throw that out there. How dare you smack Link. Highly illegal. Let's see what this is. Oh, and it seems like it has a charge meter for the actual, like... Copying. Oh, I like that. That's super cool. Oh, and then I can scarily charge at people. While you're on this side, I want to see what happens if I capture a captain's weapon. I'm always kind of wary of guys that can shoot. They can be scary. Don't you dare back up. Give me your weapon. Ooh. So if they're like a special weapon, it'll actually be copy copy. Okay, this like weapon has a lot of possibility for it. That's cool. Very interesting. I'll probably still ch stick to good old reliable Master Sword, but this is very cool. Then again, maybe I should use more, like, side weapons with Link, because this is super cool. Oh, well, let's... we have to try it. <laughs> what? I also appreciate that it's not just using Link's, like, built-in basic version of the weapon. It is a specific like flail version of the weapon. I like that. Although I wonder if I take it from a captain. Oh, I have to wait for it to recharge. I'm a fool. They are very interesting. It probably won't be different, but I do want to give it a, a try. Oh, but it does mimic the model that is specifically taken. That is an additional detail that I appreciate. Unless it, like... No, because I'm fairly certain it did take a... Like, one of these guys, like, spear for the last one. 
And that was clearly the halberd of the... Of the captain. Very cool. I can only imagine all of the soldiers being like, Why did we sign up for this? This was volunteer! I am using experimental technology. Dear Captain. Captain, oh Captain. We got a spear and a hammer. It'd be kind of funny if they're... And a Guardian Claws of Material. I think we needed that for... One of the... Science lab upgrades. We'll have to take a look. Loading screen. Spinning sword. I wonder if that's even based off of any sword in the game. Specifically. Oh, well, that came back, so we could probably quickly do that and then go and do lots of things potentially at the science lab. She. <laughs> the game is like, your people are underleveled. I know, I know. We'll quickly do Hyrule Field. Should be pretty quick. Who should we do it as? I'm going to quickly put this back to Master Sword, because I just know I'm going to forget that I had it equipped. And, you know, let's do more Teba. Teba's actually kind of fun. Should maybe try and play Riju, but she felt unwieldy. But we will have to give her another chance at some point. And even if she is kind of unwieldy, I still have to give the designers props that they're actually taking these characters and making them so unique. I mean, hell, they took two bird guy with bow and made them have unique, decent movesets. It's just very nice. I always keep forgetting that wall jumping is a thing. There has to be, like, some kind of art to it. It's just very interesting. <laughs> Take this. I blast you all. Teba is a lot of fun. I do wonder what specifically Teba's thing is where he, like, points at them and then activates. There's a whole reticle, too. Hmm. So maybe it was just the Talus being a very bullet-spongy weak point compared to everything else. I will take that... And I throw it back at you. I was a bit slow on that. Probably could... Oh, I'll just do this. <laughs> the other guy doesn't even have a weapon. What do you mean that your weak point's just gone? I don't think I was hitting you. What? Technically, I feel like that should be... Well, it kind of was. It kind of was dealing damage to his weak point. <laughs> Doing this attack while locked on to an enemy is roller coaster's vision. And a fire chew has awoken. We can throw ice at it. I think this is the second time we've had a fire chew here. Are all of the vicious monsters, at least at this level of vicious monster, just, uh... Well, that's extra mean, just throwing fire chews at me. Highly illegal. I shall just blast you. Cool it. 
<laughs> cool it. As I summon floating meteors of ice. Yeah, we'll have to try and... Whoop. Try and see... Oh, now that's extra mean. Oh, I've... One downside to Teba's stasis is it takes a bit to actually fire it off. Oh, I guess I could just do this. Get carpet bombed. And you regain your posture a lot fast. See if we can do major damage to you. Major damage indeed. Excellent. Victory is ours. Let's bask in this triumph. That plus it gives us some more rupees as well. We're just getting all the fusion material and high cell weapons. Reduced damage from ice? I don't think the elemental monsters are really all that scary <laughs> that I have to specifically build a weapon to take less damage. It doesn't even give a percentage, I don't think. It just said reduced damage. Then again, I could just be brain bleh, and I missed the percentage point. But I don't think it did specify. up here, Teba Special Attack Gauge. Flight Range Field Trip. Children aren't normally allowed at the flight range, but at Teba's suggestion, young Rito will go on a field trip there to learn the joy of training. Prepare packed lunches for the kids to eat. Adorable. I have further to soar. The children were so enraptured seeing the warriors train up close, they hardly touched their packed lunches. The field trip inspired them to think about how to keep Hyrule safe. Again, I just love the little context added to these. It's just very nice. It's just such a cool thing. I don't think we have any... Good emblems, midair attack damage. It depends on how the game calculates, like. It depends on how the game calculates what midair attack damage is. Like, complete. Nope, and just reduce damage from ice. Apparently, it is a special emblem, I can only assume. There's a weapon attack speed, which could be good, maybe. Hmm. It is only 4%, but at least I think Teba should get a decent amount, because, like, the f faster he can go through his combo. From YouTube chat, would you believe me how I found uh, this knowledge about who Seth is? It's simple. This figure was made to a, pers a Persona in the Persona series. That makes sense. Because I think Persona really does like digging into... Well, then again, I think like uh, it had, I think... What is it called? I forget. I'm trying to think who it was. But yeah, it does make sense that like Persona would have... Different figures of different, like religion and mythology as personas. And from Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? We're doing good. I'm very much enjoying how the boy Teb- uh, well, Teba <laughs> I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. How Teba plays. Because he plays very nice. Hmm. Well, I guess I shouldn't be too crazy about, like, oh, this 
emblem doesn't fit my thing because I can manage the emblems after the fact at great cost, but that's grinding for you. We continuing to destroy the timeline. As only the best fan fiction could. And I guess we'll come up here quickly before I forget. Yeah, but these also take... Research things obtain the bladed flails and fortified flails, so that's new flails. But what I want... Improve... Oh, seal boost. So that's a... Hmm. Well, I still think this will be valuable because improves quality of found weapons, but the seal boost could be... Like a specific, specific thing. We'll have to see. My wish to collect powerful weapons. Alas, the greater my desire, the more they elude me. Let's find a way to outwit luck in the name of science! Indeed. Extraordinary! Hmm, quite. Naha! With this, our luck in finding strong weapons will be marketably improved. Actually, wasn't Pura doing a similar sort of research? Hmm. Due to strength and seal effects, the drop rate of weapons with strong seals has increased. The drop rate of weapons with strong seals has increased. Ah! That's what it means. Gotcha. And I guess I will... Well, hmm. It depends, because... I would be interested to see what that is. And that, like... Oh, uh, if I do this, it'll upgrade... It'll allow me to see these two. Which means that if I do that, I can then see what that is. And then I'll just definitely have to do grinding on my own time to get more resources and stuff, because I really like this upgrade tree. I will sacrifice my... Oh, actually, this doesn't take any, like, uh, vicious reports. Good. Fantastic! Then... And I forgot to read the initial thing. I'm full. I finally captured the magnificent mass of a guardian. I did drop this weapon on my foot at one point, and it hurt quite a bit. But it's lighter than expected, so I'm relatively unscathed. Greatly enhanced guardian flail. Has been heavily reinforced, allowing the user to fight offensively and defensively at the same time. Very interesting. Ah, Magnesis. Throw, uh, weapon... Use Magnesis to throw back five weapons. Which requires... Well, I guess I don't need to do that. Because I have everything. I'll just have to wait for enemies to throw things at me. Don't be a stranger. But as I said... Oop. Oh, it was just loading a bit. I was like, oh, what? Is something going to spawn? Let's see. Oh, there's some Riju we can do. Bonus hearts or bonus hearts. No combos. Darn it. Vo and you is in session. The Gerudo are seeking teaching materials for their exclusive class, Vo and you. What is this mysterious class, and what will the students be learning? I don't know why. Ominous that they're using bananas as a material for this. I can't be stopped. You learned that Vo and you was primarily focused on self-defense. In retrospect, it's hardly surprising that martial prowess would factor into every aspect of Gerudo life. So what were they using the bananas for? But because I am interested and... The game threw this out into existence. We'll go ahead and do this, the first DLC EX mission. Even though I know some people might swear by doing the main story and then doing this, at the same time, the game designers made the DLC mission pop up at this point in the story from a new playthrough, so I'm interested to see. And plus, if it's like, hmm, oh, I, uh, if the, like, pacing is odd, and I can always hold off on doing later ones. Memory quests. Topics for investigation in order to recreate memories of hidden battles. Complete them to earn various rewards. Find and defeat the hidden monster 
Obtain three Hydra Melons and question mark, question mark. Ooh! I'm wondering if I can level up the boy. Oh, that's cute. Well, let's go play as the egg. So find, find and fight the monster, get Hydra Melons, and then a question mark, question mark. Yeesh. Because what could this be? Because this seems to be the beginning, beginning, where the egg woke up and is teleporting. And that's the guardian that, yeah, came to attack it and sent some malice to the past. So, like, is this gonna be... Oh! <laughs> Lol! What? This is not where we landed before. Because... I guess technically we didn't see it land, did we? It was just, like, conked out... Oh! So that's what you are! You're a malice-infused... Current! I guess it made sense. It was a small guardian, but I never really put much thought into where the evil mini guardian came from. It came from inside the castle. I did not expect that. Huh. Because, yeah, I guess the... There was a plucky guardian who traveled back oh, and Pura is talking. ...from a Hyrule devastated by Calamity Ganon's revival to a Hyrule that existed before that dark time. Very interesting. But Calamity Ganon's malice... Had oh, and Robbie! ...had the same journey through space and time. It possessed the little guardian that slept in this foregone era and set certain machinations in motion in order to bring about the Calamity's revival. That doesn't sound like the right way to say machinations. I guess I mean machine, machination, but I don't know. I've always heard it say machination. I don't know. Maybe I'm the fool and saying it wrong. Entirely unaware of the enemy that had pursued it, the time-traveling guardian hurried to seek out Princess Zelda. Okay, I need to remember. Find the hidden enemy and fight it. Get Hydra Melons. Hidden battles. There are still yet untold chapters in the story of champions and their fight against the calamity. Oh, we're super zoomed in. It doesn't seem like we can fight. Interesting. I'm gonna have to kill a hen ox? How do I kill a hen ox? Oh, now I have weapons. So this guy can just run over me? Okay, I, what are my combos? Fire lasers! Okay. And then, yeah, just normal one, two, three. Get flurry rushed by the egg. Kind of annoyed that. Like, this guy can just bowl me over. Maybe I'm just not used to it. <laughs> yep, shoot him in the foot.
Kind of neat that it doesn't uh, show the... <laughs> Somehow I can... <laughs> this thing is very agile. Get Flurry Rush. Idiot. Get Flurry Rush, idiot. On downside, we probably won't be seeing its like actual. The fact that you bowl me over is evil. Die by the power of egg. Luxurious Bengals. For a moment there, I was like, what's that? It is a... Ba -ba. What's it called? The Great Fairies upgrade. And from YouTube chat. And where does Persona Seth come from in the series? It's from a TV anime titled Persona Trinity Soul. There's no game, only anime. Huh. I didn't know that there was like, uh... Well, I guess I should have expected that to a degree. Oh, I can hold it down and get bonus. Is it going to be like one? Oh, it's tireless. 30 tireless frogs! 30 tireless frogs. I'm going around breaking everything because we need hydro melons. Well, there was one hydro melon. Okay, game. I was going to continue. But uh, now I'm going to seek out uh, potential hidden crates. We had to jump back to my thought. I haven't put much thought into, like, oh, yeah, there would be Persona animes, wouldn't there? Makes sense. Make sure I'm not missing any crates in here. Hmm. Is that a tiny guardian? Worry not. I'm just passing by. I've never seen one like that. Could be dangerous, but I don't think it is. A lab experiment, perhaps? I ignore my big weapons. Those enemies are pretty strong. Maybe we should call for reinforcements. Spin to win. The power of spinning. The power of winning. And I also do like that we don't have access to the Sheikah Slate because it hasn't been, like, activated yet. I shoot you. I shoot you. Is that a little guardian? Look at that, it's helping us! Uh, but for the monster to have advanced this far, and I hope his majesty and the princess are safe, hmm? hmm? The guardian started making a racket. Is it trying to tell us something? No, it couldn't be. Oh, and the whole place opened up. I'm gonna come... I thought this place was like place I was meant to come, but it doesn't look like there's any boxes in here. Okay, cool. That actually says it. I wonder what the question mark, question mark, question mark is. We need to find more Hydromelon to 
defeat the surrounding monsters to ensure the safety of Zelda. Fear the power of the egg. Spin to win. I do wonder where the other Hydromelons will potentially be. You dare show yourself? What if I did this? And utterly annihilate you! Probably a place to like conquer at a later date. Make way for spin to win. Come in here. Maybe that will be my beloved Hydromelon. In this box. Nope, it was hearty bass. And bacoblin guts. How dare you yeet a man at me? I can just shoot whenever. I need not fear you. You have no friends to yeet at me. Luckily, you cannot yeet me. That would be bad. Haha, <laughs> Flurry Rush the kick. Imagine this is how the egg acted the entire way <laughs> through the game. It would be crazy. We won't let you put our king, our princess, or anyone else in danger. Who are you talking to? The egg? Get obliterated. Almost. Almost broke your sweet spot. Die, Electro-Man. The most useful flurry rush. Follow Impa to meet Zelda. Don't need to be careful. So I was running in a, a way to investigate the number of monsters sharply increased. I'm worried about Hyrule Castle. Let's leave these monsters to the soldiers in hurry. I do wonder what the question unless Ooh, I wonder if the question mark question mark might be catch up to Zelda or uh, Impa. You don't say. Well, Per and her team are probably just working on some kind of gadget. You dare call this some sort of gadget? He is the greatest gadget. Not even Inspector Gadget could m match up to this. Oops, I'll just do this to obliterate you. Defeat on her behalf. Perhaps a very brave knight saved the day. The bravest knight. A teeny tiny knight. 
who is in the shape of an egg. Also, just, jeez, the amount of, like, variety of enemies in this area. It's almost shocking and crazy. A lot of ancient springs. Yeah, the egg it comes for you all. Make way. Literate our foes. So I'm still on the lookout for any potential, like, random crates that would give a Hydra Melon. I need to find multitudes of them. Ah, oh, darn it, ran away. Oh no, I'll hit you anyway. But I do wonder what the question mark, question mark, question mark one will turn out to be. It blasted by the power of little robot. It's almost like this area is testing your knowledge on flurry rushes to get the most out of them. To just cut down on the amount of time to kill monsters. It actually might be the question mark, question mark, question mark. Perhaps. I could see that being it, where you need to do good against these like boss monsters to get in quickly through it. But speed run. Uh -huh. Let's get through here and head to the castle. Right. Hey there, it's a Lionel over there. Uh. We can't let it get to the castle, but that's going to be a tough fight. What if I went this way? The little guardian is a brilliant little guy. Another Hydra Melon. So I can only assume that the last Hydra Melon is all the way down here. Oh! Actually, come to think of it, I want to quickly look at a thing. Because it seems like a... Oh, because mm, uh, it could just be a blocked off path. But uh, the initial first area where we fought the Hinox seems to be connected to the second area where we were chasing Impa through. Entirely possible. I guess just to be like, oh, in case somebody got through but didn't find that one Hydra Melon and wanted to go through and try and find it, there's a little shortcut maybe. I shall blast you! Yeah, you poke at me. Much illegal. I am terrible at flurry rushing you as the egg. Would have been hilarious if I did a flurry rush right there. Fear the power of the egg. Well, these are powerful enemies here. Make way for the egg. 
The hydromelon. Aha, three hydromelons. All mine. You can run from your fate, little electro whiz robe. It will not protect you from your fate. Again, I could swear that, like, whenever it's Link I'm playing as, Wizrobes always stay in the air, unable to be bombed. So these guys... These guys like coming down to be smacked. It's still the question mark, question mark, question mark one that's making me wondering what could it be. Again, could be catch up to Impa before she leaves the battlefield, but unlikely. Maybe unlikely, because she was a physical entity on the map, but... Well, then again, I guess it could be, and just get different dialogue in a... Do -do 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 -do. Could be, could be. I could... At this point, I, I, it feels like Octoroks are the mimics of the Zelda universe. They just pretend to be everything under the ground. Get blasted, my goblins. Make way. For the ultimate warrior. Technology. <laughs> Technology. Oh my god. Of course you'd be in, in the arena. Just drama queen. What? What? Okay. Well, total. Not expected. Did not expect this. Oh, you're gonna be a nightmare and a half. It just ate the Lionel. It just ate the Lionel. There's hardly anything left of the Lionel. Somehow that's a flurry rush. I'll take it. In fact, I'll blast you. Hello, Harbinger. I probably wasted my special. Where'd you guys come from? You Are you going to get eaten too? Yeah, you're gonna get eaten. Your boss doesn't care for you. Yeah, you're horrifying. Oh, that guy hit. Darn. Still not that that counts as a flurry rush, but uh, again, I'll take it. Darn, I'm a failure. You blasted Harbinger. You'll never escape your sins. Your nightmares. Although I wonder what, like, the malice of Calamity Ganon is thinking. Coming back, like, a few months. And be like, ah, I can do calamity things. Not doing good as good as I did originally. Although I do find it funny that it absorbed two moblins after it absorbed a Lionel. 
you'd think that the Lionel would be far superior, especially because... Right, you're being very rude. I do have apples, though. I shoot you point blank in the crotch for your sins. Darn it. You are very mean. Ah, Flurry Rush this time! Get blasted! If I was better at Flurry Rushes, this would be a lot easier, probably. I am terrible at dodging that. I've also lost my ability to get Flurry Rush off of the <laughs> Malice Arrows. Will you run away, please? Oh, you got deactivated. I wouldn't buy this, Little Egg Man. Did it evolve again? How did it evolve again? This is like if the littlest toaster, the brave little toaster was a horror. But this isn't where we found it. But it just reset. Okay. Because it was, like, deactivated, but it wasn't here. Interesting. So I guess, but it, hmm, but it had to be the same battle, because Impa was running, well, I guess Impa was running to pr the princess, I guess. And not... I don't think she mentioned having the slate. Still very interesting. But goblins are weird little dudes. What, do you think it's food? Or are you like, ah, oh, it's a flail? Well, granted, Robbie did use guardian parts to make a flail. <laughs> That's hilarious. It'd be funny if those two bacoblins were, like, recurring little weirdos throughout the egg's memories. Oh! Oh! These memories were lying dormant. Mm, They're literal memories. Uh, I see. Then area observation reporting. Makes sense why they're the narrators for this then. Separately. Very interesting. Hmm. I did not do not know what the question mark question mark is. God uh memory quest reward badass things okay I guess because those are for completing those memories or like memory missions very interesting got a decent amount of stuff didn't even have the slate to do that sure game as the two researchers made progress in their analysis of the time traveling guardian 
They discovered previously unknown recordings deep within. Oh, is there's more to this mission? They were broken splinters of information connected to forgotten battles. Fragments of memories, in a sense, remaining within the time traveling guardian even after it appeared in this era. Theorizing that the key to sealing the calamity may lie within, the two noble researchers began to unravel the stories behind the fierce battles buried within these fragments of memory. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh. And now a lot more have appeared. Hidden battles unravel stories that were forgotten amid the chaos of battle. Do so by following information from the fragments of memory hidden deep within the mysterious guardian. And then this. Ooh. This one is specifically Urbosa and Riju. This one is Teba and Ravali. Battle info. Hmm. I do wonder what that question mark question mark one is. I might I might have to look it up just because it could be something odd, and you never know with mysterious mis mystery. Quests from YouTube chat. I want to say that I have watched the whole anime, the Persona Trinity Soul, and it's an interesting show at least. Also, I think you should go searching it up and watch it if you're interested. Maybe. I've not heard of it before, so it could be a very interesting thing to check out. Let's see. EX Enhanced Ability? EX enhanced ability, yeah. you say? Mm. Huh? I'm interested. Make sure that's, yeah, just the great fairies and not like, great fairies EX. Another Maz Koshia bonus combo. Presents proof of your triumph and token of strength. Sure thing. We bestow upon you the gift of power. Which is an additional bonus combo. Probably should blow up some people, like you to level 42. I'll bite the bullet and level you up a lot, because you'll probably have to be used at some point. Impa at level 40 should be good. We'll hold off on these a bit, since they, they're meant to be lost battles. And... But I do believe that we have done, like, spent enough time that we should probably get a move on with the main story. Water and fire. Where we have to go and save... Mifa and uh, Daruk. What do I should bring along? Hmm. You know, we haven't played you in a bit. You know what, I think I'll just grab that because that's just such a big power boost. This looks quite satisfying. And I'm mostly doing quite these two because I really should play as other characters. Good way I have the Master Sword equipped, just wanted to double check that. Water and fire. Because of course, other characters from the future will come and help the day. Impa is afraid of heights. Have a 
Having witnessed images of the divine beasts under the control of Calamity Ganon, the party hurried to the champions, praying it was not too late. To the east of Hyrule, preparations to contend with Calamity Ganon were underway. Varuta and Varudania stood at the ready, as monsters pressed in from all sides. I don't really feel like they were standing at ready, considering they're being invaded from inside as well. threatened to overwhelm them. But Mipha and Daruk battled relentlessly within their divine beasts. Meanwhile, Link and the others began to cut a path directly through the enemy ranks. Then let us cut through. Yeah, without bombs, especially if this guy tries to mimic Daruk's shields. Oh, extra sucks for you, because, yeah, that thing likes to use ice. Oh, this is how it ends. That thing's breaking through <laughs> Daruk's <laughs> protection. That seems bad. Poor Mifa, she didn't even like look like she was fighting. All the choreography no! went I to everyone else. Allow you to take her again. Sidon? The boy! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Sidon, winning smile. Yunobu, Diamond in the Rough. Don't worry about that. I'm here to help. And knowing Yunobu, this is a big step up for him. Poor guy was just like kind of terrified to like uh, take on enemies. And mostly like used himself as a cannonball. Here he's like has to fight for Daruk. About Daruk, reports say his divine beast is surrounded by lava. We can't get near. In that case, let's rescue Mifa first. Varuta's rain may be able to cool the lava. Oh, hey, I need that. I need that for Questen. When I hear. Mipha's theme playing ever so slightly in the background. Actually, maybe I could get another like a uh, Magnesis off ya? Or are you just gonna do basic combos now? Come on. Magnesis, yes. I'll just do two to simplify it. We won't do all our grinding here. That'd be, inc that'd be insane. From Twitch chat, saving Mifa, the best timeline. I do like that it's basically the fix-it fanfic that a lot of people would have written anyway. And they're like, we'll do it ourselves! Because, I mean, a never-before-seen like Egg Guardian teleporting back in time. And the funny thing is, it kind of uh, tidies itself up because of course there wouldn't be a Egg Guardian in uh, Zelda study in Breath of the Wild that you could like see broken down in a box after a hundred years because that's the original timeline. And all these characters, oh, well fine, I'll wait for you to throw it again. I'll farm you. I'll farm you for content. This will be my third yeetable. <laughs> we deserve our happy ending fanfic. It's what everyone would have wanted.
Because it's extra funny because... Like, I wonder how many people initially went into Age of Calamity expecting it to be like... Uh... Basically, oh, Breath of the Wild, but... This swamp, is this Calamity's doing? In any case, we can't get close to Varuta like this. There might be a way to clear it. Let's investigate the vicinity. But basically, like, I wonder how many people went into this expecting this to be, like, a tragedy. You play a losing war, basically. Only to be like, surprise. It was a time travel fanfic the entire time. I doubt that it would be, like, that crazy of like, oh, how dare they fanficify my game? Because it basically starts out with a time traveling mini guardian. That sets the tone for the rest of the game entirely. Now I know I can probably just go through you. But I want to capture this. Oh, shield, you're not magnesable. Die. Just as I feel, the tide of battle is not in our favor, but we must persist. Make way, Bacoblins. Again, why is it like the throwing club guys who are the most... Oh, darn it. Well, fine, I'll destroy your friend and then I'll wake you up. But yeah, the throwing club guys are the most, like, at the ready, ready to throw things at you from afar and obliterate you kind of ranged enemies. Take that, Malice Swamp. It seems destroying the eyes make the swamp vanish. I'm certain there are more. Stay at the shop. So I think we went the wrong way for destroying Malice Eyes. Gotta run quick. Again, I love how much they, they just went, how hard they went on the soundtrack for this game. And there's the main motif. Da -da -da -da. Oh, and there's a treasure chest up there. I'll go do that. I'll get the treasure chest. And there's a Korok. I guess I'll deviate a little bit more to get you. And two treasure chests. It's really worth it. Five opals. Very handy. Get out of here, Lizalfos. I got all the silent shrooms. Silent shrooms are mine. Let's head up the hill. Oh, just the music. It's so good. I really, like, this This music makes me want to do more writing. I really should do more writing. I have so many story ideas. But the anxieties just stop. Again, game, I see you. Throwing the whiz robes up high, making me doubt if I'll even be able to hit him. <laughs> You're doing this, I'll take you both out.
get annihilated. Well, darn you. You were supposed to be annihilated. One more eye of the swamp to be eliminated. Which will probably want to go this way. Do, 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 do. Hello, enemies. Weren't looking for that, were you? You leave the Zora alone. Prepare for obliteration. You know, I just got hit with a thought. What would, like, a League of Legends Warriors game be like? League of Warriors, if you will. Granted, I'm always, uh preaching how there should be a Kirby Warriors game and have it be called Star Warriors. It writes itself. A Kirby Warriors game would be great. Oh. Well, that's very rude. You spawned in with a rune ability. Raring to go. Illegal. You just really like the old charging, huh? You, you a bitch. I kill you. And uh, you know what? After you run out, get frozen, idiot. I'll keep smacking on you a bit more. And then I'll blast you with... Well, actually, I'll wait for my rune to heat up again. And then I will fire wand you. I was out beside you, you little bitch. You know what? Instead, I won't. I am bent, not broken, even as my body gro uh, grows tired. It's frozen. Also, God, that, like, eight-pack you have, dear Lionel. Die. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Oh, the music's so good. Looks like the swamp has disappeared. We must go and save Mifa. Guess I could do that to get my bl laser blast back. Impa, are you saying that because you took a lot of damage, or what? I will not fall here, you say. Why? <laughs> You're not even all that hurt. Again, the Mipha theme that's playing in there, and the main theme, it's like, it's so good. It's so good. Up diddly dallying. Let's go save Mipha. This would be kind of funny to meet Sidon. It appears the little one's power has allowed a people other than the pilot to enter Varuta. Also, just a clean little bit of hand waving there. Yeah, 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 we know people can go on in here in this world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we have reasons. <laughs> and he's dual wielding spears, tridents. Water Blight Ganon, even though it really should be Ice Blight. More like Ass Blight. Sister, please, don't! Oh, you've come at last. Huh? And we have to canonically play as Link through this. I'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. Link, I knew you would come. Ah, oh, so it was you, my friend. Exquisite. That must have confused Link. He has not met Sidon. Well, I guess now he knows Sidon is a kid, but still. 
to see a big Sidon would still be a trip. Get flurry rushed, idiot. And you know what? I'll do it again! I'll fucking do it again! You know what? I'll brood. I was gonna try and flurry Russia. Oh. Not what I meant to do, I kicked off the wall. Rude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take that. It seems I was right to place my faith in you, Link. I wouldn't leave you hanging. I believe in you. What a feeling. To have aided my beloved sister. Ah, oh, to fight at your side again was delightful. Come now, we must rescue Daru- Gah! Sister. Sister, your body is succumbing to exhaustion. Please rest. I shall rescue our ally. I have long awaited this moment. I shall help my dear sister and Link as best I can. He rides a water, <laughs> a water like shark dolphin. But yeah, if you think about it, the fact that he says he has long awaited, that kind of makes me imagine that like, as a child, he always had like the, the dream of like, oh, what if he could have fought alongside everyone else? back in the calamity since he is like was but a child during this all this because no, none of the other ones were alive when the calamity started Sidon was there so he like remembers it probably if only vaguely Brings a whole fucking shark down upon the enemy. Manitic Neotalus is replenishing the lava. Varuta's rain will not be able to do this. Varuta seems not to be fully functioning either. I doubt it can produce enough rain. Right. That settles it. Let us go and make quick work of that Igneotalus. Let's do this thing! Smash him to bits! Darn it, I don't have any bombs. No idea what that- I, I, Do I have to play a golfing mini game to do his bomb rune? That seems mad. Out of the way, for Coblin. This is not your hot springs. Well, this could be a tough rock to swallow. Concerned that you almost were dead. Get out of here. Sidon is just so simple. He just spawns an ice block in front of him. So much simpler than a lot of the others. But Sidon's pretty fun to play. And the fact that he summons, like, 
a water shark is amazing. Hello, Igneo Talus. the Igneo Talus because we can. Well, you know, we have a nice blast. Speared, idiot. I'm kind of annoyed that the Igneo Talus theme which is just the normal Talus theme, has taken over the awesome music that was playing. <laughs> For music crimes, you will be destroyed. does his pose. Drill into him. That, as they say, is that. The Igneo Talus is no more. In that case, Varuta, it is time. Bring Rang to the battlefield. Well, think of it, why couldn't they just have had, like, Gorons carry everybody across? Now we should be able to board Valrudania. On to help Daruk! Out of the way, enemies. Send them all flying. How oh, very rude of you, flaming me. Link, you're amazing. Really and truly exceptional. The throwing guys, again, these guys are the, the best of throwing things at you. The people with actual arrows hold nothing to the bottom of the freaking cobblins just throwing shit. I still love the piano part of this song. Just so good. The motifs, the repeating themes. It's all so good. Also kind of the implication of like the battlefield being all the way from Zora's domain roughly to <laughs> Goron City is kind of badass. That everybody is just constantly battling all across Hyrule. And, like, entire armies. It's just pretty grand. Fire Lionel. Of course there is. No, this can't be. I mean, we already fought one, Lionel. What's one more? I'm gonna get frozen, idiot. That other Lionel we fought was a lot more scary than you. He was charging all over the place. You? You're winding up all over. Me cornered? 
What are the odds? Kind of surprised we haven't heard Yanobu get scared. He's putting on a brave face for his ancestor. It's like, what kind of weapon is Yanobu even using? His fists? He just throws himself at the enemies like a cannonball? Fire Blight Ganon, Shard of Calamity Ganon. He's like, <laughs> they have to protect each other. Take turns using their shields. Stay calm, kiddo. You're right, sir. I will. Goro. I came here to save you, but you have to save me. Then what's the point? <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Oh. <laughs> kind of funny that babyface Yunobu is as tall as Daruk. Let's see how crazy you are, Fire Blight. You're frozen. Yeah, Yanobu is just kicking the shit out of Fire Blight with his fists. That is hilarious. I love it. Yanobu, so badass, he doesn't even need a weapon. How about I bomb you? Gotta weaken, uh, weaken him a bit more, and his next weak point break shall give us a neat animation. Luckily, we can't fall off the uh, of Rudania. Uh, the animation's borked. Luckily, it's the same one. It's shot. Oh, wow! That was a touch and go for a bit, Goro. <laughs> Are you kidding, kid? Working together like that, it was way too easy. You almost died. Even with help. Yeah, the fact that it requires two champions and, uh, like, future help to come in and take down the Blights... Kind of scary, if you think about it. The Blights in their prime are terrifying. <sighs> well, the deed is done. We should all thank you. You really came through, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't handle the Daruk back slap. <laughs> wasn't it? I owe you some thanks, too. Oh. <laughs> Without your help, I'd have been in deep trouble. Sidon, it's all so mysterious. Is it truly you, my brother? Yes, it is yours truly. I know this is hard to swallow, but I journey here from the future. <laughs> None of this makes any <laughs> sense. But oh well. I like Daruk. We have bigger rocks to roast. Princess, please tell us what happened at the castle. I like Daruk. He's just like, none of this makes sense, but it's a good thing. I'll tell you. <laughs> I may not understand it, but let's kick some calamity ass. With the aid of Sidon and Yunobo. Who had appeared within the divine beast. Not Yunobu, Yunobo. All of the words, all the names I've been saying wrong. Safe for the moment, the champions would only enjoy a brief respite. Upon discovering that Hyrule Castle had fallen into enemy hands, Mipha and Sidon headed to Akala Citadel to aid the soldiers who were still holding the line. Akala Citadel, a place that just got utterly annihilated. By guardians. Meanwhile, Daruk and Yunobo prepare to confront the incoming wave of guardians head on, stepping once more into Varudanya. 
Let's -a go. As we fight an army of guardians and taluses. Lol. None of you saw this coming. Run! Use Gojira! Just stomps them into lava. That's why you're the great nerd. I told you to drop the formalities, Noble. Sorry, but I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> he spent years idolizing you. Your face is on a mountain. Gang up if you want. It makes no difference. You'll never get by me. I'll let you know what nearby enemies are up to. You focus on fighting, Greg Duruk. Wow, wow he's such strength. If you on board, our buddy here's working its tail off. Makes it easy to wreck stuff up. You're not good. You're not getting by. No way, not ever. Let me just do that. Get out of the air, Flying Guardian. No, no matter how many we defeat, there's always more. So maybe I shouldn't have moved from my position. If we stay on the defense, this will go on forever. Let's take out the bridges and stop them for good. Tons of guardians are coming from the southern bridge! Ready, southern bridge, right? I'll head them off from there. <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's do this! What? Bad, it's bad! They're targeting our defensive line! Didn't destroy as many as I thought, but <laughs> this is great. More guardians, they're coming from the bridge from the other side. They're on that side now, eh? Okay, Nobu. I'm heading that way. Catch some enemies. Yeah, no flying through. Monsters are advancing. You can't defy. <laughs> Come this way. Try and get behind me. I feel like these <laughs> linos just stick around. Take more damage than a guardian. Now you stop that flying man. Flyers are the most annoying. Hey, <laughs> Tal Stone Talus, uh, die. <laughs> Great Duruk is huge! He must eat a lot! You wanna grow big like me, kid? Just fill up on Tasty Rocks every chance you get. 
just yeet the stone talus. Excuse me, I'm just gonna get over here to do that. All those monster outposts? Bah, um, I can see a big building up to the north. Okay, it's time. No, I can smash him to bits. Oh, I've got some enemies to play with here. Time to finish this. Yep. <laughs> One blast. We managed to protect it. Thanks for helping me out there, you nobo. Know, Oh, <laughs> I, uh, don't know how to react to such high praise from the great Daruk. <laughs> Calm down, little fella. Now let's keep it up and send that Calamity Ganon creep packing. Get obliterated, monsters. I do wonder what Yenobo's weapon is gonna be, if it'll just be his fists. When it happened, I could faintly hear a voice calling to me. As I searched for who it was, I suddenly saw my dear sister under attack. My only thought was that I had to help her. Next thing I knew, I was inside Baruta. <laughs> That's kind of neat that like all of them was your doing. saw that happen. Like, I have to defend. Like, my sister, ancestor, or like idol from the pa great Thank past. <laughs> Imagine just being Tiba, and you see your, like, ancient idol now, under attack, and you're like, to I have to help there. him! What's the problem? Hurry it up! Oh boy, creepy bubble time. Oh! Soul time. That's a lot of dead people. What's your game, free eyes? <laughs> My, you really are slow. He's feeding Despite oh himself. Our best efforts. The enemy has only grown stronger. To succeed, we must Adjust our strategy. Oh great, he's sucked out so many souls he recreated the, the blights. You can actually be of some use for once in your life. Oh, he created a a blight link. He's actually hesitating. <laughs> in that case, I will protect you, even if it cost me my life. That's funny. I can't split. You're my best lackey. For the calamity, fate gives you this role, and you will play it. <laughs> oh, he's definitely insane. On-screen person murder. You see, you saw it here first. Guy just sucking out people's souls. Sidon, winning smile. The Zora Prince from the future and younger brother, the champion Mifa. He is unwaveringly positive with a strong sense of duty. He fights for Hyrule and to save his sister. An oboe, diamond in the rough, a descendant of the champion Daruk from the future. While he is a bit of a coward, he is brave when it counts. He fights for Hyrule and to save those he cares about. And then, yeah, like, Daruk, Yanobo, and Sidon and Mipha. Memory missions. Mipha and Daruk have returned! And this is Yanobo's training. 
and recipe for seafood paella, I assume. A child loves the seafood paella that's served only on special occasions. His father promised to make it if he can bring the ingredients. But it'll be tough for one so young. Can you help? <laughs> Alright, that's dark magic. Who am I kidding? The Zelda lore is dark. This is getting some Majora's Mask levels of dark. After you blot... That blot? After you brought the ingredients, the father made the seafood paella, as promised. His child smiled from ear to ear as he ate it. You got the recipe and thanks for help. And I didn't even read, like, what the yeah. actual reward reward was. Like, what it did. Mm. We need 50 of those damn things. Side and bonus heart. Side and bonus combo. Takes 2,000 rupees. Bonus heart. In those crabs. Just missing a lot of things. Death Mountain, a place so boiling hot that only Gorons can survive without a fireproof elixir. Perhaps red choo choo jelly will give researchers the clue they need to help others withstand the heat. I'm stronger than before. <laughs> Through extensive testing with the red choo choo jelly, researchers developed a new way to make fireproof clothing. This paved the way for better relations between Gorons and outsiders. Bonus heart. Bonus heart. Can't get the bonus combo. I'm a fool. The Rock Hard Grill, famed for its menu of tough-to-eat treats, wants to whip up a meal for the hard-working Gorons all over Hyrule. Of course, to cook up a true chomper chipper, you need... A lot of things! I'm getting stronger all the time! That nearly unchewable chow really hit the spot. Even after days of hard work, the meal put smiles on Goron faces far and wide. It sold out in no time at all, but did away with their wariness. But you know what? Let's do Yonobu's training. Mm, it's a feast! I quickly want to see, because seafood paella? Use the seafood paella. It increases start battle three plus health. Guess not bad. What a treat! Then go forth, Yanobo. Thanks to the impregnable power of protection inherited from Daruk, rock attacks will hit in a wired air, well, a wired area, a wider area. Just swapped the D and the R, I guess. Oh, but let's see. Now that we have like the full team back, let's see how they line up. We've got the original guard. Well, I guess less guardians of champions. Hestu, Sidon, Yenobo, Tiba, and Riju. I can help, probably. Oh! He can eat a bite of uh, rock roast to power up his attacks. That's kind of cool. He's following on what Daruk told him to. He rocks every chance you get. Fire pillars. It's over. Yanobo is a badass. Oh, 
Oh, it seems like each shield, like, is different. I wonder what that is. Oh, do they lead to different, like, post, like, uh, ability? I need to read. Oh, his weapon is rock roast. That's hilarious. Eat a rock roast to power up certain strong attacks and activate the power of protection. The activated power and correlated enhanced strong attack will change with each use. That's cool. Get run over, the goblins. Run them over. Run them over. You want wide effects? That's the one you go for. He's still just crazy, he just yeets entire stone pillars. <laughs> okay. Sure thing, you know, Bo. But that's like some Tom Nuke building a house to blow it up energy. Glory rushed. Get beaten up. The fact that it's like a giant platform of ice. Spin time! I'll just do this, get get rid of you guys. It's just hilarious that they weaken it. He just does a big boom. He's actually really fun to play. The fact that the, like, the unique action button really brings it all together. Oh, hey, I need this. Thank you. Come on, do it one more time. Exactly. Booyah! Take this. Get ora 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 and rocked. Spin time. Great. So good. I did it. Maybe I'm not so shabby after all. YouTube chat. Hey, hello, hello. We are playing Age of Calamity, and it is really fun. I really like how each character is, like, so different from the other one. Medium rare rock roast. That's great. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So long as this stream, like, ends on a good note, and I go and try and do other things, this will just be a very nice day. Also, remember to stay hydrated. Hydration is important. I keep forgetting to hydrate sometimes, even though I have a water bottle right here. <laughs> and then Sidon's training. Why not? Let's do it. Let's dive right in. Marvelous. The only, like, future character that I've played that I haven't really jived with is Riju, and that's mostly because I'm pro mostly probably because it felt like Riju got thrown in there at a very chaotic time. So I didn't retain much. I re really should do, like, Riju's training at some point. 
at the right time during a strong attack to empower your attacks of boundless optimism. The one downside to the unique action thing is that it's so different between characters that I sometimes forget to use it. Attack! That's what it is! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. There's a key point. Sidon is badass! Oh, this is great. I need to do that more. This feels top tier. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I just did the two combo again. Let's go find enemies to practice on. This is training, after all. One, two, three. Well, maybe I have been doing the three this entire time. One, two. Yeah. One, two. It's the fact that it comes, like, after the flurry is what... Kind of uh, confuses me there. But yeah, this is cool. <gasps> there, what do you mean there's multiple parts of that? I need to see. Okay, once again. Oh, dang it. I. Because I, this is actually. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Sidon is really, really cool. Oh, well, hello, bunch of enemies. Uh... <laughs> Although it is amusing that it's like... Just a... <laughs> He weaponizes his smile, which is great. I did it. I shall slam you with a giant water shark. I like the skill expression with this. That is actually really, really cool. Kind of like nicely done that like a slightly more complex character is saved for like the halfway point in the game, that's actually really, really good. So you don't just drop you with a surprise, a really big, scary, <laughs> complex character, even if it is just an extra button and timing. Sometimes that can be enough. That is really cool. What was that? It is actually specifically Sidon's. Let's see. There's a bonus combo that we can get. Some folks are planning to open a waterfall climbing workshop at Zora's Domain. Open to students of all ages. Sidon is asking for donations to help bring the idea to fruition. Take all my money, why don't you? <laughs> Sidon's neutral special is Water Shark. He is the Water Shark. He summons a bigger Water Shark. This is great. With donations rolling in, the workshop announced it would be opening soon. Meanwhile, Sidon trained tirelessly at Veiled Falls so that he would be ready to impart his teed techniques to others. The fact that it's actually called Boundless Optimism is hilarious. Ooh, special attack gauge plus one. Present proof of your triumph and a token of willpower. Take all my Henox trophies, why don't you? To mark your achievement, we bestow divine protection upon your companions. 
The first one to get three. You're here. Yahoo! And go ahead and grab this to... Well, first we need to read it. I keep forgetting, I need to read it. Our Magnesis research is utterly stalled. Apparently it's dangerous to fling metal all over the lab. Hm. Maybe you could do some field research for us? For science? Let's unlock two other things that we can try and see what if they're good to get. Thanks to your good work, I was able to power up the Magnesis room. And now I don't have to send metal flying all over the lab anymore. Though I will miss the thrill of it. More damage. Alright, a flail. What do you mean? The master cycle. What do you mean the master cycle? Use the flail to copy 20 weapons. Interesting. What do you mean I get the master cycle? <laughs> This is a research request from a certain someone who's as passionate about relic research as I am, but lacks the time for it. Let's invest some of our own time into this for all of our sakes. Sure. I was able to fulfill the request of the princess. Oh, I mean that certain someone. Anyway, an ancient text described a divine beast destined for a hero. This thing is incredible. The Master Cycle. I think I joked about this. And here it is. A vehicular weapon craft created by the Royal Ancient Lab based on a divine beast destined for a hero as described in an ancient text. As per Princess Zelda's wishes, she is the she is the pilot for this creation. Hell yeah. That is great. That is grand. That is amazing. And what are you? Qualify for battle-tested guardian trial. What do you mean? Use Master Cycle to defeat a thousand enemies to upgrade its attack power. This is amazing. That is utterly grand. That is hilarious. <laughs> I can only assume... Oh, well, first things first, what is this? Winged Escort. Restricted to Tiba. But I have to see. I have to. Also, one second. Hmm, it doesn't seem that we can, like, change her costume. Which I guess makes sense where we are in the middle of... Oh, there we go. Outfit changed. So if I... Interesting. I'll change it back after we do this, but... Master Cycle Training. Ever ready to do whatever she can to aid Hyrule, Zelda must now go through intense training to use the Master Cycle. She's perhaps more excited than she's letting on. Just... Hell yeah! Zelda gets the Master Cycle. That's hilarious. Because I kind of, I think I made the joke of like, oh, what if the Master Cycle was in this? Or like, maybe I did? I, I completely forget. But Zelda getting it is hilarious. Hold to go into overdrive with strengthens attacks. Use it too long and the Master will overheat temporarily disabling this mode. I already, I already like the sound of this. This seems amazing. The fact that she's weaponizing this so well is hilarious. Vroom vroom, bitches! <laughs> Was that an Akira slide? Was that an Akira slide I do see? <laughs> yeah! This is hilarious. The 
this is just utterly amazing. She's just styling on them all! What Zelda could have been if her father wasn't a stuffy old man. Was Zelda would have been one of the youth. The fact that it's just like, it's so great. I do not see anything. I just see death. Zelda got that road rage. She's so raging at the road, she creates her own road to rage on. This is just genuinely amazing. I exert my will. Become a skid mark. <laughs> Zelda's just outright running bitches over. Powers it up to blast. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> See? This is why this game being just utter amazing crack fanfic is great. It's so good. <laughs> this is unbelievably awesome. It is indeed. <laughs> From Twitch chat, riding around at the speed of sound indeed. <laughs> Zelda gets the best thing in the world. A motorcycle that is also a horse. <laughs> Genuinely, absolutely grand. For story purposes, we will put on the normal one again. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, this outfit did change. It didn't, uh, it felt like it didn't say it, so I was like, wait a minute. Let's see. Escorting the injured, but why are you pointing me at one that, like, it was weak for? Just weird. Now let's see. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that bad. Let's try Teba's, since I have more of a grasp of his. It says 43, so this could be bad. But let's see. A horde of monsters block the paths of a visitor to Rito Village. Work with Ravali to clear out the monsters and escort the visitor. Oh, but I'm, I ran out of milk. He needs some milk. I'm ready to stop. Let's -a go. I just love this game. This game is so good. It is just so absolutely great. So good. You'll be escorting me to Rito Village, huh? Much obliged. It's the Rito Village music. Advance very carefully. We wouldn't want our guests to be injured, would we? Oh, 
Oh, you're already out, are you? Get obliterated, idiot. Well done, Tiba. A good reminder that I must keep pushing myself. He's so violent. Tiba is just so good. More flurry rushes for you, Moblin. Oh, yeah! Kick him! I see you. Hey, go flying, idiot. How unfortunate for you to have to fight me. Blasting me. Oh, we have these. I need to use them more. Blow them away in a fire tornado. Downside to Tebas or Tiba. Kind of disappointing that doesn't hit its weak spot. Sometimes this move comes in handy, doesn't it? Eat your arms all you want. I shall destroy you, bit by bit. Goodbye. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I never knew I would see Princess Zelda ride a motorcycle. This game is literally fanfiction. Nintendo has made it official. It is so good. Because really all fanfiction is, is all the epic things that you wish that you saw in your favorite pieces of media. It just so happens that here they decide, you know what? We'll let that happen. to use bombs on you. Da, 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 da. Love the music. What the fuck was that move, Teba? Let's go ahead and blast these ice the moblins that have come together. One downside is like maneuvering the awesome moves. Take this, Ice Moblins. My maneuvering is terrible. Blasted. Da, 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 da. What the hell? What hit me? The Lizalfos just came out of nowhere? guess it's going to be like a Lionel or a Hinox in there. Wait a minute. Is that actually a Korok platform? Ah. 
I didn't expect Koroks could appear outside of story missions. I guess I just never really noticed them before. What? Lionel, here to kill us. Here to ruin our day. Ah, oh, that did not do much. Ow. Cool it. <laughs> Tiba made a pun. Cool it. As he uses ice. Ow. Let me do that. Really stuck? Try to blast as much as possible. You have a lot of health, don't you? A very angry boy. Yeah, I got out of your way. Just stop. Feeling stuck? Take him down, boys. Almost, almost had a. Well, we got Flurry Rush off that though. But I almost had a one round weakness break of Tiba there. Another flurry rush. <laughs> I like that he gives a thumb up, thumbs up before initiating a bombing run. Headshot. Thank you for protecting us all, Ravali. And you too, Tiba. game. I just love it. Because I really liked the like Dynasty, or not Dynasty Wars, the Hyrule Warriors on Wii U and the definitive version on Switch, but this just feels so good to play. And the fact that it has like actual story and the music is just so good. This is just so good. Absolutely love it. It is just completely grand. Yeah. Come down here to buy our fortified mm. pumpkins. Uh. You. Quickly see about. See if we can. High resell, high resell. He's getting a lot of high resell for some reason. No other emblems. What about you, Raval? You have an absolute boatload. I don't think... Yeah, 15 doesn't give... Uh, an emblem It's only at 20. Oh! And we can indeed impart emblems here. Let's see, do we have any other... But damage per hundred enemies. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait, no. That's our big one. Or at least a big one. So we might not want to do that. Because that does a lot of damage, but that has damage per 100 KO, so we'll need to wait. I'm very picky with my fusions. Very, very picky. What is this? The so-called knight, where I have to fight both, I have to fight Ravali, Sidon, and Mipha. Ravali is skeptical of Link, whereas Sidon has never doubted the swordsman's abilities. Link has unfortunately been dragged into the dispute. I want to do this one. We're gonna do this one. This one. This one seems amazing. I find it. Let's go. Let's go find a milk first. Be 
shall buy milk from you. And bird eggs. And goat butter. Since we're running low. And now I got 666. The number of the beast. So let's go fight. Just everybody! That's funny. It's like Rivali got into an argument with Sidon. And they're like, now, Link, you have to fight us. <laughs> yes, Link. You must defend your honor against this rapscallion bird. Absolutely hilarious. Which is, I, I, it's kind of sad that, like, so many things are hidden behind the dialogue thing is now link show me what you're made of as in like i believe in you my friend the power you seek is within but just like the context to these battle zones is sometimes hidden in the by having to click an extra button which is a little sad get flurry rushed fish man oh, it seems we've lost Show them all. Oh, hello, Mifa. I think I promise not to do any permanent harm. You do have healing. Da -da -da. Goodbye, Mifa. Your strength is astounding as ever, Link. I have no shame in losing. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Impressive, but that's not all you've got, is it? I like that it's playing the Rito Village song. Because technically this is all instigated by Rivali. Like, this just makes me think of, like, Age of Calamity being almost slice of life esque. For sure, there's these big old bombastic battlefields, but at the same time, it's like Rivali just challenging Link to these absurd challenges. Challenging to challenges. I am good language. Still love the music. All oh, the lightning lighting that up. Oh, Teba? Teba? Bring it on, Link. I'll bring it all. <laughs> Again, you use wind to... What the fuck? Were you source engineering that? <laughs> source engine physics in my Zelda game? I thought us evenly matched. And you still came out on top. How gall. Hmm, so you've got a tiny bit of skill then. I suppose I'll take you down myself. I knew you could do it, Blink. Now let us settle this. You know what? I want my full blaster power. It's cool that Sidon is like, I believe in Link so much, I'll side alongside you. I've been aching to settle the score with you. Prepare to witness the wonders of Ravali. Let us duel, my friend. I relish the chance. Huh, you know not to be overlooked, are you? Next time things will go differently. We'll call it a day, but next time, you'll have no hope of victory. 
<laughs> Maisie, as always, my friend. Your dominance was undeniable. This is great. I love these little side missions. It's just utterly grand. High resell. In fact, let's go through for any other high resells there might be. Maybe there's only one. But that's just so cool. It's just so neat. And hey, Ravali, at least you're actually. Like, getting some reaction out of Link, he actually decided to partake in this battle challenge. In the previous timeline, he just stood there and stared because anxiety, probably. That's just so good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll also mm. stock up on my mm. usual. Uh -huh. And now EX, EX Enhanced Ability. The people of Kakariko Village want to fortify their defenses for when the need arises. Consider how monsters fight and provide some hard materials that can stand up to strong attacks. I am stronger than After being reinforced, the gates and fences are so sturdy they won't budge an inch against most attacks. Now the villagers who are unable to fight can rest a bit easier. What do you mean? While you have three symbols, press EX to unleash a powerful attack. One, two, three, four, double press. I will remember that. That seems neat. Yeah, this is so good. We've been going for almost three hours. We did a bit of story and just got so much DLC stuff. Yeah, because we did the first EX memory, which was really cool. And just got a bunch of new cool characters. This is so good. I really, really like it. Once again, we'll probably try to do, like, uh, some grinding in between streams. And the next stream should be Saturday. As always, there's the possibility I might do Persona 3 Portable, but it all depends on my mood. Because if I'm in a really, really good mood, might be able to play Persona 3. But otherwise, Age of Calamity is just such a nice, just go in and do it kind of game. It's just so good, so polished, has so many nice little details. It's so good. But yes, I do believe that that shall be it for now. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want more and more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, should be found in any, like, uh, direct links in the various bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites. And it holds links to my edited content YouTube channel that I'm working on scripts for videos for, my streaming YouTube channel and streaming Twitch, depending on your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact. And then, all swise in my link tree is links to the various sites I upload art to, like my little character in the corner and in slates. And then I do some writing, and some of that writing I upload to some various sites as well. Because writing fun. I need to do more writing and drawing. Meh. And then finally in my link tree is my Patreon, basically a giant donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.